My name is Barbara Fernandez. I'm a speech language pathologist, and today I want to guide you on how to create a custom visual support material using Smarty Symbols. You can access Smarty Symbols and get your membership at smartysymbols.com for just $89 a year or $7.50 a month. You will see how much easier it is to create a resource on Smarty Symbols. So the first part of the website of this platform is to show you that Smarty Symbols has over 30,000 visual support images here that you can access. We offer a variety of character, which we call character of choice. So if you wanna represent gingerly and you wanna use this character, a female character to represent the students you're working on, you can use that. So you can see that for every single uh, vocabulary item that we have here, there's symbol of choice. And you see that represented more on the action words area and a lot of the items that are represented by a individual. So if there's a symbol that is represented by an individual, you will see a symbol of choice. And to download the image, we're going to select that image. And we're just going to hit the download button. You can download the PNG, which is the clear and transparent background, or the JPEG. So if I hit here, download PNG, then a PNG is downloaded, and you was able to see that file. All the files have a color version and have an outline version. So if you are working on some coloring activity, any of the visuals that you see here are available in both color and outline. If I select, for example, this bullfrog, bullfrog here, you will see that there is a color version and there's also an outline version that you can utilize for coloring or any kind of other activities, which includes the case your school doesn't provide you with a colored printer. But let's go to the best part of the Smarty Symbols website is just when you wanna come in here and create the resource directly on our platform. So we're gonna select here from the hundreds of templates that we have. Once you select the template, I'm gonna select here this four by four, and I'm gonna make it landscape. So I have my four by four, I go to the symbol section, and I can start searching images. I can put here eat, for example. And it, it contains the word, I wanted the whole word eat. So it relates to eating or chewing, consuming, so I'll go ahead in here and add the images that I'm looking for. Now you will see that we have, these are verbs, so they're in green. Our platform automatically knows the modified Fitzgerald key, and it knows that the verbs are usually represented in green, and you have your nouns here in orange. You don't have to change the colors. Now obviously, if I go back here and I select, for example, a category, uh, remove the word eat and we'll pick some nouns here if for some reason I want to switch this airplane from orange and I want to make it red you can do that as well but the whole point here is I'm showing you how easy it is to create a visual support material on smarty symbols you have your places and you have your adjectives in blue but just because it is easy it doesn't mean that it's simple. It's extremely powerful. And I will show you an example. Let's say, for example, you want to create a comic. Select my template. I'll drag and drop an image here. But for some reason, I want my uh, comic to be different. So first, I put in this house with a text blaze. And I want to put a boy there. I can drag that boy anywhere. And that boy is now can now be inserted to create a whole new setup. You can make that whole area bigger and you can adjust the squares and anything in your templates, including the text. So instead of blaze, you can put fire so you can change the text. And so another trick that I want to show you is if for some reason you want to create a resource for your Spanish speaking students. You can come here, select your symbol, drag and drop. Then you select your area. Then we come here and you can change it to Arabic. 
you can change it to Spanish. And now you have that same resource in a variety of languages on this platform, which is when you go to elements, you can select your element and these elements have a variety of cool backgrounds. One of my favorite ones is the bedroom and here I have, and I'm going to go ahead and select symbols to drag into that bedroom. I can put a boy here and you can create a whole scene in that bedroom with items that should go there and you, you, you can add text, drag and drop text. And you can create a whole scene. I'm going to go here to my archives and quickly show you some of the scenes that I have created. For example, I created the scene here for an art class. I just opened it up and here's my scene. I selected that background. I dropped these backpacks, these different characters. They're all movable items on the scene. Speaking of things that I have created, I showed you a little bit of my archives. Um, some of the work that I had done celebrating my birthday during COVID, some social stories. But the nice thing is there's a whole community creating resources. Right now, there's almost 5,000 community-based resources that can be accessed, downloaded, ready to use that other members just like you created. And you see here, for example, we have Kathleen that is one of our top users. You see, She has a ribbon here. She has 49 public activities. She's a top creator. I always like coming in here to the top creators, somebody like Rachel. You can see all the amazing work this user has created and you can come and just download, for example, the zones of regulation activity. You can make a copy, edit, and keep it for yourself. I wanna show you finally here on another page, a text to symbol, which is one of our latest features. I love my work. I love my work. I really love what I do. So that was it for Smarty Symbols. This is a really quick overview of all that you can have if you sign up today for Smarty Symbols at smartysymbols.com.